it's not turbid now. Not, not when this sample was collected. It's likely going to be changing quickly. Rivers and creeks are being watched closely as a flood threat is looming in Kelowna and could lead to turbidity concerns. That's mostly dirt and, you know, or suspended sediment. It's going to sink and, you know, might cause some people along rivers and so forth issues when it starts to accumulate in places they don't want it to and they might want dredging to happen and so forth. But most of that material is going to sink out. The turbidity itself is not necessarily a health concern issue. It's more of what particular bacteria or viruses may be attached to them. Part of our water treatment involves uh, UV radiation, which is a high intensity lamp. And so if they are attached to these particles, there is a possibility that the particles may be shielding some of the bacteria and rendering treatment lower effectiveness on the treatment side of it. And our intakes are located in strategic points that are trying to isolate them from those direct inflows. So there is a bit of a buffer capacity from where the creeks come into the lake. It is really up to Mother Nature in terms of how quickly that is all going to come and enter into the lake. And that really will dictate whether or not we really think there is an issue or not. So again, we have faced this type of situation before with higher snowpack levels and they haven't translated into a water advisory. It just happens to be last year was fairly unique. So far, we are fairly confident that we can keep this without an advisory. Last year was the first time since 1996 that a water advisory was issued and City of Kelowna staff said they'll be keeping a close eye on the water. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Kelowna. Castanet has webcams, and lots of them. Click the cams button in our yellow masthead to see them all.